Okay, hi, today's video is of the heavy plant pot mover trolley that I've designed. Uh, one of the key elements to it is the size of the wheels and the angle of the platform. That's what makes it work easily for shifting pots of various sizes. Um, although this demonstration is with a very small pot, because that's all I've got in my garden, um, but we have taken it to plant nurseries and we've moved 130 litre pots uh, with it as well, so just to give you a guide. So, um, just to let you know that it comes uh, basically unassembled, so two parts and the third part being the base. These are a 17mm spanner, it's just uh, a normal or any 17mm spanner for doing up and undoing. I've made it, put it together now, so I won't bother doing that now. Okay, and then just to give you some dimensions, really the important dimension is the width between the wheels. Um, the length is important only in the sense that uh, it creates the right angle to slide plant pots up onto the deck. So in metric, to give you clearance, I would uh, suggest we call it 46 centimetres or 18 inches. Uh, the actual deck is that dimension. So that's 46 centimetres or 18 inches, and obviously you've got a bit of clearance between the wheels. So if you've got a pot of that size that will fit between the wheels, you can bring it right up between the wheels, which makes it a bit easier for manoeuvring. If you've got heavier pots and much bigger pots, you don't have to bring it right back here. You could have a big circular pot, and effectively where my hand is drawing the arc, you can get there. Um, we haven't got it for today's video, but we will redo another video. But we do have a little caster wheel, and if there are two people uh, doing the function together, you can put a third caster wheel, a little bit like the design of a uh, children's uh, buggy, uh, a little trolley buggy with a single wheel at the front that pivots round. And then once uh, you've got the pot on, one person tips it back, you put a block of wood underneath to hold it up, and put that in and drop a pin, and then you can take a much bigger, heavier pot but that is better done with two people. Okay, so what I'll do, if the camera can get me in okay, I'll just show you. If I had a bit of wood, ideally you'd block or chop the back wheels to stop it moving. This isn't so heavy, so I can just slide it on and use the back of my foot. So I'm now, it's best to go in reverse rather than pushing. Uh, I'm gonna go down a step. So if the camera can follow me, it's about a, I'd say a three inch step that we're going to go down and it's quite easy to do. It's easier obviously to square it off and then come down and then move the pot from the back garden to the front garden or vice versa. Okay, uh, basically just going to show you the reverse of putting it on. So, come around to the front, slide it down, and that's it.